You tried the Renegade. Is that the one that's like this? <laughs> Ew, I can't believe I did that on camera. <laughs> Hi, Freddie! Hi, Linz, how are you? I'm good, I miss you. Oh my gosh, blonde cuties reunited. The blonde! <laughs> We're about to take a millennial quiz to see if we can pass for Gen Zers. I already know you're gonna blow me out of the water, but I, you know, <laughs> it's fine. I have been known as the BuzzFeed teen for a while now, but things are changing. I've gotten to the point where I'm like, I can't keep up. I'm on TikTok a good amount. I spend a decent amount of time on there, so that's what I'm really leaning on. That's what I'm hoping that will be my saving grace. This is not a competition. Mid quiz, <laughs> we'll see. You like to thrift. I do like to thrift. I do too, to an extent. This is thrifted. It's this so sweater. cute. So is this, actually. You use the word aesthetic as an adjective. That's so aesthetic, yeah. But that's a noun. Okay, this is getting serious. I do not. You know what? I'm going to say I don't because I say that's an aesthetic, which is a noun. <laughs> so no. You only use lowercase letters. Yes, that is me. That's me through and through. I do too. I have like the beginning of the sentence caps thing on my iPhone turned off. Wait, I don't have that. I need to do that. Oh, yeah. It's like, it's a setting. You use an Instax Polaroid camera. I have, but I don't own one. I own one and I use one. All these Polaroids on my wall. You do have so many. You used Picnic to edit photos. I do not. I actually don't know what that is. <laughs> oh my God, Fred, really? I did. Oh that was like Exanga, MySpace. It's just like oh. super tacky photo editor. I'm thinking that this is something new that Gen Z uses, but it's- I know. Better. Okay. It's old. I have been in it with the social media since day one. I was very involved with my MySpace page and aesthetic. Oh, yes. <laughs> you once had a feather hair extension. I did not. I did it, but I wanted one. You wore silly bands. I definitely did. I wore silly bands, yes. <laughs> you shopped at Limited too. Yes, I did. Yes, and I, my mom had a very strict budget for it too. <laughs> was um, it pricey? Yes, it was pricey. My mom was like, you only can buy one thing today. I remember I got the bag with like my like L on it. I got these cargo pants that were camouflage and they zipped to make shorts. Oh, wow. We love a versatile queen. You quote unquote, never use Facebook anymore. <laughs> That's me, yes. Yeah, I don't either. You play Among Us. Oh, I have no idea what this is and I don't think I'll ever wanna know. I play too much Animal Crossing. I don't need another game in my life. <laughs> you live on Animal Crossing. I literally live there, yeah. yeah. I have an island. <laughs> you use the word sus. No, I don't really use the word sus. I say that sus all the time. You have worn these sunglasses. I am upset. <laughs> I don't think I have. I know what they are, but I don't think I have. Yeah. Gen Zers are watching this being like, what are these glasses? Yeah. You had a duct tape wallet. I did yeah. not, but I remember it. Remember the Capri Sun purses? Yes. Those were cute. Did you have one of those? No, but I feel like we should bring it back. I can absolutely see Gen Z bringing it back. You have worn a giant bow. No, I am not in the Gen Z Siwa camp. I wore a bow like every day of my childhood, but obviously it wasn't because of Jojo Siwa. She wasn't like alive yet. Yeah. <laughs> you were invested in our second life. O2L. You don't know what this is, Freddie. I know you don't. It was basically like a little One Direction, but you too, but not as intense as One Direction, obviously. Oh, but wait, so did they, do music? No. <laughs> <laughs> you love cringy edits. Sure. I think they're funny. Sure. Yeah. You say we love when you just mean that you specifically love it. I do. You? Yep. I did it just in this video recording. We love a versatile queen. You say we stand. I say I stand more than we stand, but I'm sure yeah. I stand my fair share. In the fangirl realm, we've progressed from we stand. No one in like fan community say we stand anymore. They say other things that describe their emotions. But have I said it? Yes. What do they say? Well, it's a more like I'm crying or like I'm screaming or like, you know, it's not um, like we stand you. Got it, got it. It's kind of like you describe it in more colorful ways. You use the word she to refer to inanimate objects. Example, oh my gosh, she's so cute in reference to a shirt. Yes. Yeah, I've done it. You say one of these words, fire, iconic, low key, mood, pull up, salty, yeet. Okay. I are you a yeeter? I know that's what the kids are saying. I have said yer. <laughs> so with an R. I don't know if I love that or hate that. It's cool. <laughs> I said all of them except 
the heat. Freddie gets all of them. <laughs> you realize a lot of what's characterized as Gen Z slang is actually derived from black internet culture. Yeah. A thousand absolutely. percent. That's the thing, I think it's like half and half. I think half of Gen Z is like really aware and the yeah. other half is more just like social media trend. You were subscribed to My Life is Ava, Andrea Russett, Bethany Mona. Check, check, check. I don't know what any of that is. I live on YouTube, Fred, and I have my whole life. They were the OGs before like the people now that are all trendy. They've been doing this. You are terrible at texting, but respond to IG DMs. <laughs> that is not me. I think I'm probably equally as good or bad at both. If I'm responding to texts, I'm responding to DMs. And if I'm not responding to either, I'm playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> you use Discord? No idea what that is, what is that? No idea what that is either. You were once confused about what hanging up the phone means. Nope. No. They don't know because they just had cell phones. They don't have home, they never they had home phones. phones. Oh my gosh. Do family units not have home phones now? No, I don't think so. You stream YouTube or games on your phone wherever you go because you've always been used to unlimited data. No. No. I remember when I had a pink razor in seventh grade and like I could send like three text messages a month. <laughs> <laughs> no, same, or like only call me after nine. You have one or multiple Finstas. I don't have a Finsta. You don't? I don't, I might make one. The issue is that I can't remember all the passwords. I already can't oh, get back into it. I can't get back into Roberta's Instagram, which is why she hasn't posted. You have no idea how to read a real map. I know how to read a real map. I know the layout of them. There's a key on the map that tells you what each symbol means, and all you do is just follow the key. You played Fruit Ninja. I did play Fruit Ninja. What is that? It was so fun. It's a game on the iPhone. You're extremely invested in activism. I feel like I am vocal about activism. Yeah. I think I could be more, for sure, but I definitely am not silent. like You're not silent. silent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've posted a TikTok. Yes, I do. Yeah, something I never thought I would, but now I'm on board. <laughs> you know what Musical.ly was. Yes, I do know what Musical.ly was. Definitely. Musical.ly was a little like the cringier version of TikTok, I would say. You know who Bryce Hall is, unfortunately. No, I don't know who Bryce Hall is. I'm about to look it up. He's not a good boy. He's not following the rules. And then the mayor of LA shut his power off and I agreed with it. <laughs> you know the whip. Is that the Nene? I don't know, that's what I was thinking. Is that the same thing? I think it's different. But you know what it is though? The, the Gen Z, the TikTokers, they love to take older dances and reinvent them and make them new. Should we just give ourselves that one? No, cause we don't really know what it is. We don't know, <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> you know some TikTok dances, yes I do. I do too, I think I know two total. Love a good TikTok dance. You tried the Renegade. Is that the one that's like this? <laughs> yeah, 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 that's the one. It's like the Renegade and but then that's the, But that's the hair. only part I know. That's the only part. That's also, the only part I've done. This it. is a dance that is a part of a lot of different TikToks. True. Oh, you know that Jalea Harmon started it and not Charlie. Yes. <gasps> yes. You've used Visco. I still do. I'm gonna say no. I've used Visco in the past, but like really only once or twice. Like I don't know if it really counts. Yeah, I used to use it a lot a few years ago. Now I just use it for like the most minuscule touch-ups. Um, don't do the crazy visco filters anymore. You say it's the blank for me. I do. People have said it on my comments and I know what it means, but I've just never said it. You're tired of millennials trying to start intergenerational rivalries. I don't think I've ever done that. No. I feel like millennials are more admirable of Gen Z than the other way yeah. around. You wanna say this last one, friend? <laughs> you don't think this quiz accurately represents Gen Z. I think it's a mixed bag. I think there's definitely some Gen Z stuff in there that I did not know. I think it represents it. I would say I'm pretty in the know about Gen Zers. And if I come out of this quiz wrong, then I think the quiz is wrong. <laughs> Forty-nine percent Gen Z, and I got sixty-six percent Gen Z. I will say I'm not too sad about my score. I'm actually this is actually better than I thought I was gonna do. You're not completely out of the note. Like you're half there. Yeah, I'm half. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm a little more than half there, and I think that feels right. That to feels me. correct. Gen Z, you're one of a kind. You know what you stand for. You don't back down. And I love that about you. Guys. But you know, cut us a little bit of slack. Well said, Fred. <laughs>